I was curious if I could notice a difference in video quality between softwares that do de-interlacing. I take de-interlacing for granted and I don't expect that I'll notice a quality difference. But I was shocked with what I found. Here's a list of softwares that I tried. While the Windows apps were capable of deinterlacing the file while I watched it, they were not capable of saving a deinterlaced copy of that video file. Media Express and Make MKV wasn't compatible with AVI files, so I just moved on. A lot of people talk about Stackstrip, but I couldn't get any playable files out of it. I think this is because my dumb dumb brain don't video encode good. I didn't include Adobe Premiere because I don't own a modern copy of that software, therefore this test would be unfair to Adobe. Uh, the rest of this list is capable of saving a deinterlaced file, but each software has a different level of difficulty. So you will have to decide what fits best into your workflow. Let's talk about performance. Some of these softwares take advantage of GPUs and some are CPU only. If you're a purist that doesn't care how long it takes and you just wanna use your CPU, more power to you. I'm gonna be biased towards softwares that can take advantage of the horsepower in my computer tower. Plex was actually pretty fast encoding on my Synology server with an Intel i3 from over a decade ago. No complaints with the speed on Plex. YouTube was the slowest because I had to wait for the file to upload, wait for it to transcode, and then wait for it to download. Topaz was blazing fast, taking advantage of the RTX 3090 in my computer. VLC was slow even when it was taking advantage of the GPU. AVI DMUX encoding was slow. I think it was CPU bound. It's hard to tell with that software. Its strength is definitely the fact that it doesn't have to encode to trim clips. Handbrake was almost as fast as Topaz, DaVinci Resolve likes to make the GPU sweat, and was as fast as Topaz. Moving on to my workflow, I included Plex out of curiosity. There's no way you could fit Plex into an efficient workflow. It's not designed for video production. I uploaded to YouTube and downloaded that file. It's simple, requires no expertise or software. However, it takes a very long time for each file to upload and process. Topaz Labs was easy to navigate, had plenty of options, and it made it easy to preview your file before committing to encode the entire file. Topaz was by far the easiest software to work with. VLC was the second most annoying software to work with. While it had plenty of options, they aren't organized in a way that is easy to navigate. The files that come out of VLC are stretched aspect ratio and don't play back correctly, flashing black screen. I tried rendering through VLC a dozen times with different settings, but eventually I just gave up. I really wanted AVI DMUX to be the best. AVI DMUX has a special superpower that none of the other softwares have. You can cut slices out of the video without needing to encode those clips. Very handy when pulling footage off of old Hi8 tapes. Obviously when you deinterlace, you will have to re-encode the video. I was surprised at how annoying the software is to use. It has tons of capabilities, but a lot of them are hidden behind presets. So if you want to customize your settings, you can do so but when you encode the video, your settings just sometimes don't apply. <laughs> this made AV DMUX a solid no for me because I don't want to waste time and electricity to find out hours later that the boxes I ticked didn't actually apply to the encode. Very unreliable and impossible to trust this software. It's a bit of a single purpose software. You can set beginning and end and then export that clip without having to re-encode, which is amazing, but one trick pony. Handbrake was a bit of a learning curve and I'll admit that I was frustrated at first, but now that I've learned how to use Handbrake, it's one of my favorites. Once you know what you want and save it as a preset, it's simple to batch encode hundreds of files while you do something else. Handbrake fits into my workflow the best for sure. 
DaVinci Resolve is my ride or die. This is my everything software. Unfortunately, it's not compatible with certain file types, which is when I use Handbrake to transcode those files into something Resolve can read. For example, Resolve can't read footage from Ubiquiti security cameras or Sony ARW photo files, as well as certain codecs. But DaVinci is compatible with most codecs. Anyways, it's a bit cumbersome to batch encode a lot of videos, but it's capable of doing so but the workflow is not as simple as Handbrake. It's in second place for me when it comes to batch encoding video clips, but it's capable of doing anything you want it to do. Now comes the part that we're all here for. Which software retains the best video quality while deinterlacing? Let's take a look at where we are in the brackets. YouTube video compression looks like garbage. Let's throw that out. Plex is very soft. We are talking about really low resolution, but I think we can do better. VLC quality is just all over the place with random flashing black frames. This software is very unreliable and in my opinion, unusable. Topaz Labs is soft and mushy. Not really what I want to see, but the AI does this weird sharpening on certain objects that it recognizes like faces. It's uncanny, and as someone's face gets partially covered, their face becomes more soft and mushy. Then when it's fully revealed, it snaps back to being sharp. It's almost nauseating. AVI Demux was interesting because it has the softness of low resolution, but it seems to add some sort of sharpening filter or maybe a contrast filter to make some edges look crisper. It's not bad. Handbrake looks like it retained the sharpness of the original footage really well. It only applied a little bit of a noise reduction filter, which made the footage look slightly softer, but overall Handbrake did an excellent job retaining the nostalgia and the look of the original footage. And that's my goal for deinterlacing. I just want it to look as much like the original footage as possible. And that brings me to DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve did the best job retaining the original footage look. It even retained the digital noise, which you may prefer the look from Handbrake softening the digital noise from the original footage. I think in regards to retaining as much of the original image as possible, DaVinci Resolve did the best job. I can denoise the image later if I want to. For now, my goal is only to deinterlace while retaining as much of the original quality as possible. I award the deinterlacing crown to DaVinci Resolve. Which software is your favorite? 